Good evening to you all. My name is Drew McDermott and I want to kick off this call by congratulating you for taking the time out of your evening to be intentional about your health. It really is so encouraging to see so many people logging onto this webinar tonight. And a very happy Women's Month to all the wonderful ladies joining us tonight. We really are privileged to have you in our lives. And I don't know if you realize it, but women are more often than not the gateway to the family's health because it's normally the women that are making the food and nutrition choices for their home, for their family, and amongst a million other jobs and responsibilities. So tonight we are going to focus specifically on you and how nutrition can enhance and protect you through the various stages of your life so that you are physically, mentally, and emotionally equipped to the core of your family and society. And Near Life is the world's leading whole food nutrition company. And we are on a mission to make the world a healthier and a happier place by ending the trend of chronic disease. And our goal tonight is to educate you on the health and nutrition challenges or possible challenges women are facing and to give you a practical solution. And we've got a lot of ground to cover this evening. So I'm going to get straight into it and introduce our guest speaker, Liz Geertz. Liz is an absolute authority on nutrition and the human body. And Liz, I just want to say thank you for agreeing to do this, web, this webinar with us tonight. I could think of no one better or more qualified to talk women's health and women's nutrition. So Liz, welcome to the call. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you. And welcome, everybody. And happy Women's Month. Well, let's get straight into it, because women usually talk a lot, so that's what I'm going to do tonight. Um, yeah, look, women are inherently different from men, well, we know that physically in our appearance. But also, you know, the well is the way our bodies work, and that's really attributable mainly to our hormonal differences. And that, of course, results in very distinct nutritional needs for women as opposed to what men might need. You know, and because of these differences, actually, we have different health conditions that disproportionately impact women, which is quite interesting. For example, 75% of autoimmune conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, multiple sclerosis, and even type 1 diabetes actually occur in women. In fact, more women die from having a heart attack than do men. And we even metabolize certain drugs differently. So we are quite different. And in recent years, science has begun accumulating quite a growing base of knowledge about not only age-specific, but also gender-specific nutrition. So this gives us a great opportunity to understand the different health concerns and risks really that relate to women specifically and what we can do about them. You know, as moms, wives, daughters and sisters that we are, too often we are focused on being nurturers and caretakers for our families and, and our friends and, and we often neglect ourselves. And I think as this slide suggests, um, you know, we want to look after our families but we can't always be effective caregivers if we don't look after our own health and um, especially as we pass through the different stages of our lives. So that's what we're going to do this evening, look at the different stages in our lives. And of course, I think what women tend to talk about mostly are their hormones. So let's talk about our hormones in relation to these stages in our lives. Yeah, and of course, we talk about these two particular hormones because these are what make us unique, estrogen and progesterone. But often we tend to focus on these two hormones and, and tend to forget that they actually work in conjunction with a whole lot of other hormones in our bodies and all influence one another. And some of them we are probably more familiar with than others and probably don't even realize that they are hormones. Insulin, for example, that's a hormone and it regulates our sugar levels. Adrenaline, that's a hormone that's released in response to, to stress. Our thyroid gives off hormones called thyroxin, which influences our metabolism. And of course, there are many others. But I guess we should look at them a bit like an orchestra. You know, they, they, they're instruments in an orchestra and they have to work together and be in harmony. And just like that instrument, if one of them is flat or perhaps not even there or working properly, then obviously that harmony is, is distorted and the, and the balance isn't there. But it, it really is quite a delicate balancing act. And if there is an imbalance, for example, with these circulating levels of estrogen and progesterone, this can have an effect on many other systems in our body. It can affect our bone health or our digestion, our heart health certainly, and our skin, hair, and nails, as many of us know. 
So this balance, because it's delicate though, can really be very powerfully influenced by external things, you know, like negative lifestyle factors, particularly stress, and of course a poor diet. And, and studies have shown actually that women who are, let's say, mindful of what they eat and try to do some physical activity or, or hopefully have an exercise routine and just generally take care of themselves, most often don't experience some of the more distressing or emotional symptoms of hormonal change or imbalance that do take place. So they, they sometimes have a, you know, a better start in that. So when we talk about these specific female hormones, because they are predictable, I, I believe, in different phases, and because of that predictability, um, I think we can actually have an influence on how well prepared we are um, for the different stages as, as, they, as they influence in our lives. So let's look at these different stages and bearing in mind this concept of being prepared because these stages are predictable. For example, adolescence is predictable. That's when they actually the hormones switch on, if you like, at puberty. And just briefly looking through that slide, we'll see that there's certain nutrients that are required because that hormonal activity has kicked into gear. Yes, when anything is new is introduced, um, often there is a settling down period or um, some sort of balance has to be established and, and even some disruption to some extent. And of course, we see that in our teenagers. But just take note of the different nutrients that are mentioned there because you'll see them actually being duplicated in other phases and other stages in, in our life cycle, influenced by the very same hormones. So once these hormones have moved in, basically what they're there for, they get established, the system settles down, all the time really preparing us for an optimal environment of reproduction, for pregnancy. And you'll see there again, protein is required, iron, calcium, those essential fatty acids, and there are some other vitamins that are very specific and minerals that are specific to the pregnancy. That is really when the hormones have settled down and they are actually working in the female body. You know, this is a, as we all know, is a, is a crucially important phase. And it's very important to be prepared for this phase. Um, and more and more, in fact, this is a topic all on its own, there's research confirming how the quality of a pregnancy will have an influence on the health, even of the disease profile of our little offspring, literally for the rest of their lives. So we really have to make sure that we are prepared. And if we look at those nutrients, some of them, as I say, are duplications of what we said already in adolescence. So if we don't prepare in adolescence and we move along, we can be healthy, but we will be depleted or these, we are the supermarket, if you like, during a pregnancy. And so this little offspring is going to draw on your teeth, it's going to draw on your calcium, it's going to need your iron. And um, it's very important that we are prepared at this time. You know, iron, for example, is not only for increased blood volume, it's also to ensure that that pregnancy goes to full term. And very often people don't just have one pregnancy, they might have one, two or three, in which case many of these nutrients get depleted. So being prepared, even in adolescence and preparing for this phase, is very important. So I think this degree of predictability is there for us to be able to work on. You know, at this stage in our lives, right up until midlife really, um, it's characteristic for a woman's energy to be focused on caring for others. You know, this is sort of a nurturing instinct that comes into play actually because of the presence of our hormones, it's almost scripted into our makeup. We will automatically be nurturers in this phase of our lives. And inevitably, another phase comes wrong. And this is when, again, it's a predictable happening. It may not happen at a particular age because there's quite a wide age span, as you can see, but it is going to happen. And so we can be better prepared, if you like, if we think about it. This is a time when our ovaries produce less of the estrogen and progesterone. They don't slow, they slow down, but they don't shut down completely. And when these hormones start diminishing, again, just like now we're removing something out of a very stable environment, there will be a settling down period, a time of change, and inevitably some degree of disruption that happens when these hormones move out. And I think many women can identify with that. And if we actually see again some of these nutrients, some of them are very similar to what we've had before. And you'll see there other hormones like the sugar and insulin levels, that's a hormone activity is going to be influenced by the fact that our other hormones are changing. So at Near Life, we know that in Mother Nature's plan for human nutrition, the key to actually lifelong health, vitality and, and longevity is in the foods that we eat. 
And, and at Neo Life, we strongly recommend that people eat a variety of foods. And we try and encourage them to know which they are. And of course, to avoid those calorie dense, you know, nutrient deficient processed and convenience foods as much as possible. But we also know that a modern lifestyle, you know, getting ready, this, getting this combination of good whole foods together every, every day is, is not always a, a reality for most people's lives. And so without the help of whole food supplements, we don't always achieve optimal health. And I, and I found an interesting quote from a Dr. Kristen Northrup, who's a well-published um, board certified gynecologist and obstetrician. And she's passionate, not just about women's health from a medical point of view, but from, from all sorts of aspects, emotional, hormonal, etc. And this is the quote that she, she commented about, and I thought I'd just read it to you. Over the years, I have seen hundreds of patients helped by a good supplement program. Following a program means that you'll have to give up the idea of getting everything you need in one tablet. It's not possible to pack all these nutrients into one or even a few tablets. You'll need to take quite a few more each day. Think of them as food, not medicine. And I thought that was very apt because that's exactly what Neolife has to offer. And so just try and remind yourself of the nutrients that we've seen in the different phases. And we're gonna go into some of the products and where we can actually find some of these nutrients. And I mean, there we are, whole food, human food chain nutrients that, that Neolife have put together. Um, so that we can actually broad brush all the different areas. And in some cases we have to add extra nutrients. And this is just a little sachet just to remind us what's actually in there, that we provide all the minerals. We go to the foods where there are gaps and we go to the actual foods and extract the nutrients from, from the grains, the oils that we're not getting. I mean, the fruit and vegetable gap is a glaring one. And it's well known in, in South Africa in particular that we are not good fish eaters and in every population and all age groups, we're not eating enough fish. So that is enabling us to actually bring the whole food concept in a supplement form to help women to, to go through the different stages in the life. And you'll have noticed in, in some of the food and the nutrients that were mentioned at the different um, age groups, that protein was there in every category um, and necessary for bone development, for muscle development, for growth, for the little nutrients, for the, for the little offspring. So important in a very powerful nutrient in, in, in every stage, um, life stage and phase. And of course we do eat, I mean, we do eat protein, but we don't always eat good quality protein. Often there's very high levels of fat. And so what we've done at Neolife is put everything together in one combination in a very convenient and easy way to use it. And also there you'll just notice that we've made reference to other hormonal activity. That little graph is there just to indicate that we are, we are aware of the fact that we don't want our insulin levels and our sugar levels to, to fluctuate too much because they will have an influence on our mood, on our body temperature, on our ability to sleep, on our ability to focus. And all those things are sometimes negatively influenced by our hormones. So we've, we've really gone from a whole food point of view, put it all together and just to, you know, just to highlight that in fact, it's quite amazing that there's nothing artificial in this, in this product, which is quite unique in, in this day and age of convenience, processed foods, calorie dense and empty calorie foods. So quite, quite nice to know that we've got all these things. And of course we don't use any genetically modified ingredients and we have nothing unusual like hydrogenated fats and undesirables in the product. So that's why we put together this combination of, of nutrients in two products, which really is a healthy start to an energy filled day for, for anyone and particularly for women in all stages of her life. And I, I then wanted to go into some more specific, I talked about bone health and we, you will have remembered that there was calcium mentioned in every single one of those lifestyle phases. And in fact, this is just a very simple little graph to indicate the importance of being prepared. Because if you look there, you'll see that at about, about 19, that's really when peak bone mass is considered to be optimal. But in fact, there's a little phase there between about 20 and 30, where we can still lay down some more bone. But what's actually happening at that phase of our lives? That's often when pregnancies are happening. So there's a huge demand on our calcium um, to be absorbed and utilized by the little growing fetus. So when we reach the probably 30, it then levels out and we can maintain it usually through our mature adult life. And then at menopause, when the hormones move out, that's when 
the natural gradual density of the bone tends to decrease. And it's not very easy to actually add any density to the bone other than to keep it the way it is. So it's important, very important, I think we can see from this little simple graph, to be prepared at a very early stage in our lives because it's going to influence the rest of our lives. And that little dotted graph is simply to show you that if we don't reach it, we simply just below par through the whole phase throughout the life cycle. So that just highlights, I think, the necessity to be prepared. And yeah, so what we've done at, at Neolife, we said, okay, we've got Pro Vitality Plus, we've got um, the Neolife Shake, which does give us a broad brush of all the nutrients. But as you can see, there are specific nutrients that really need to be focused on. And so that's what we've done. We generally deliver nutrients in families, but we've actually isolated certain nutrients because I think you can see simply from that graph that we need to focus on some in particular because the body specifically needs it, and particularly the body of a, of, of a female. So chelated CalMag, we, the reason why we've put this particular formulation together, we've highlighted the ratio of the calcium and magnesium so that they optimize the benefit into the bone. We've chelated it, and I'm going to talk about that just to explain what that means. And we've included vitamin D3, which we thought actually, I think, in sunny South Africa that we had adequate amounts of it. In fact, we've discovered to our detriment that we don't. And it's very important, specifically for the calcium absorption, but it has many, many influences in our body, particularly our immune system. That influences heart health, depression, cancer, and many, many more things. So it's an extremely important nutrient, a very valuable one to be in this product. And you'll notice I put the appropriate dosage because our dosage for the three tablets is 300 milligrams. And in fact, when we look at what, let's say, a, a, an adolescent would need is probably maximum time that you'll need maximum amount of calcium, and that's about 1,300 milligrams. So many people think, well, I'd rather take a, a big bullet, thank you, with 1,000 milligrams of calcium, and that's going to do me a good service. But in fact, the body doesn't like to take in high quantities of calcium at one time. It prefers to take in not more than at least five to 600 milligrams per dose. So in fact, concentrations in inoculated CalMag is absolutely perfect. We'd rather take an extra dose later, but not take it all in one, in one dose. And to optimize that absorption, what we've done, is we've, done a, we've pioneered a very unique process called chelation. Chelation, chelation, you can say it as you like. Because you know what? Minerals are a bit skittish. They're, they're sort of easily distracted and they're not absorbed very, very well. So what we pioneered was to actually coat the, the um, mineral, the calcium, for example, with amino acids and not just one, but two of them. And amino acids were chosen because you and I are virtually entirely made of protein. Our hormones, our enzymes, our skin, hair, nails. It's something the body will recognize. So it's not going to distract or detract from the ability to absorb the mineral now. So we coated the mineral, bonded it, if you like, with amino acids, enrobed it, whatever you'd like to say, but that's what chelation means, protecting or coating the mineral. So that now it's not as distractible or as skittish, and it's much more likely to be absorbed. So that is a, a very powerful pioneering thing that, in fact, was pioneered by the head of our scientific advisory board, Dr. Arthur First, um, and he did not just a single amino acid, but a double amino acid. And you'll see there on that little bar chart there, but that, in fact, increases the potential for absorption sixfold, which is, which is amazing. So now you can see that having 300 milligrams that is well absorbed is far better than having, let's say, 1,000 milligrams that may not be well absorbed. And the body doesn't want to absorb that much at one time in any case. So it significantly increases the absorption of minerals, in this case, the calcium. And you can see that it rapidly disintegrates, dissolves, and then disperses. It's a water-soluble substance. And now it can go to the bone and the body will respond positively. So that, that really is a very powerful tool when we look at actually the requirements of women through the different phases, um, influenced by the hormones, but also just the predictable phases that we live in. And so we did the same with iron. We two, we, we put two, um, two amino acids onto the iron. You saw there from the references that I made in adolescence, increased blood volume, the menstrual cycle starts, Certainly in pregnancy, again, increased volume, very important to go to full term. And even though those processes change as we go through menopause, we shouldn't ignore our levels of, of iron. In fact, many women are deficient in iron without realizing it. In fact, it's commonly around the world a problem with deficiency. But it's important if we have low blood pressure, if we're not focusing properly, 
we don't concentrate, and all those things tend to happen in the latter phases and the menopausal phase. So iron is extremely important right through the life cycle. And again, we have enhanced its absorption. So as I say, normally things are in families, but we have isolated certain nutrients because they have a very, very powerful part to play in our well-being through the life cycle. And essential fatty acids, um, these are things that the body cannot make and they have a very strong influence on the cell membrane. But the interesting thing is, and why they tend to work in our hormonal activity, particularly those that you're gonna find in TNN, is there's a considerable interaction between these essential fatty acids and substances that sensitize these cell membranes to hormones. Remember the cell membrane is where everything either docks or is enabled to go in. In other words, hormones are messengers. And so they dock on that cell membrane. They give, in, they give messages and instructions to a cell. So these essential fatty acids are actually involved in substances that sensitize our cells to the hormones that are arriving. And that's why many people have found that um, TNN particularly has a very powerful influence on regulating imbalances, which tend to cause hot flushes, for example. And women tend to take different quantities depending on what their requirements are. Um, and that's something that's individual, but it's certainly a product worth using um, to, ba to balance out and regulate the hormonal activity. So we talked about, as you can see, calcium, iron, essential fatty acids, and then the fruit and vegetable gap, I think, is, is a very glaring one, as I mentioned. And during menopause, um, if we look at menopause and we talk about these two hormones, estrogen and progesterone, many people think we don't have enough estrogen. But in actual fact, we have a, the progesterone is the one that moves out first. And so we have not necessarily too much estrogen, but we have a dominance of estrogen. It might be lower than it used to be, but it's still dominant. And so we have an imbalance of the progesterone and the estrogen, these two hormones that we've been talking about. And the cruciferous, which is a group of, of vegetables that we're supposed to have at least a portion a day and tend not to have even a portion a week, tend to protect estrogen sensitive tissue um, on the cells against overstimulation by this estrogen. And so they're, they're very valuable um, against hot flushes. So these particular vegetables seem to have an affinity for hormone sensitive tissue like breast tissue, uterine tissue, ovarian tissue. And they tend, as I say, to protect the estrogen sensitive tissue from being overstimulated by this dominant estrogen that is floating around the body. And again, you'll see that Neolife has, has, has really taken the whole food concept very seriously. This is another component of the, of the fruit and vegetable family, flavonoids, and they are water soluble. So they tend to work in the fluid areas of the body. And you'll see the whole list of different foods that we've got to actually extract to them. And they tend to protect and defend the cells um, in the body and also the, the blood vessels as well. So they, they have an influence on our, on our heart health, for example, which is also negatively influenced sometimes by our, um, by our hormones. So when we put all this together, I'm just reminding you that we have these products and we add to them as is needed. And, you know, I talked about stress having a very powerful influence on our, on our well-being. And I'm sure many people experience um, anxiety and stress actually heightens or worsens things like hot flushes. So having the Neolife shake in particular with those amino acids and even some of the vitamin B in both the products, they tend to assist the body and they tend to uplift and regulate our mood. And they also play a part in, in temperature regulation. So you'll find certain amino acids and certainly the vitamin B family in both those products as well. So when we start with these and we add our other specific products, we start to have a very powerful influence on the way our body works. The hormones are going to be there and they're going to at times be disruptive. But if we are well prepared, we will handle that situation far more effectively. So these are also the food-based nutrients that I'm talking about. But in fact, we have other substances from herbs, for example. Um, now, the difference here is we should really look at our nutrient, nutrient content first because eating the foods is how our body actually reacts and how it keeps healthy. But you know, herbs are amazing things because they almost tweak our well-being. So sometimes you can, you can be healthy, but you don't necessarily feel well. And that's, in fact, very, I think, very typical from a hormonal point of view. That there's nothing wrong with you, but you're, just not, you're feeling a little out of sorts. And so herbs come to, to play a very important part. And, and this particular product you can see there has influences 
whatever age, and, it, and you can have a look at it and see what influences you. But it's, so it's a formulation that's very multifaceted, um, and really it's centered on ensuring optimal hormonal balance. And you might wonder, well, how can it work in all these different phases? But you see, it, herbs do just that. And what we've done is use 10 different herbs, rather than, the, than focus on one powerful thing. We've allowed them all to work in a synergy. So in fact, they support the, the human, the, the female physiology, at whatever stage it is and whatever level of imbalance there is, and that can be at any age. So the actual synergy of the low doses um, make it so effective and versatile. And it's something you can take on an ongoing basis. If it works for you, you can take it on an ongoing basis. That's why it doesn't have, um, it's not therapeutic doses. It's a, it's a maintenance daily dose, um, and it will be consistently normalizing your health and well-being. And herbs tend to work better when they're considered as part of um, you know, an overall plan. So a good diet, physical activity, all the right lifestyle choices should be there. And this is a, a sort of a tweaking agent. So it can work on a physical level and also on an emotional level. So low mood, low vitality, those are very common experiences. And those are things where we don't feel well, although we might actually be healthy. So excellent product to add to all the other products if necessary. And I just want to quickly go through to, to, towards the end here and just remind us that heart disease has a part to play in women's health and a very powerful one at that. You know, it's not just a guy thing. The overwhelming perception that heart disease is a man's disease is very, very skewed. And in fact, the vast majority of heart disease and its research has been done on men, even though our women's cardiovascular system is actually slightly different from that of a man. And I think the majority of us tend to think and fear things like breast cancer and not really concern, which is really reasonable and understandable, but we don't concern ourselves with the quality and the health of our heart. We tend to think it's not going to happen to us. And even though we have heart disease perhaps 10 years later, chronologically than men do, it actually affects women more in a worse fashion than it does men. Um, for example, in South Africa, one in four women are going to be influenced or impacted by heart disease by the age of 60. So that means it's a, it's a condition that we really have to take note of, and I wanted to just draw your attention to it. And the trouble is we're particularly vulnerable because the symptoms are not the same, and we tend to not take note of them either. For example, if you see a man clutching his chest, and you, know, and you, think, he's having, you think he's having a heart attack, that's, it's, it's almost uh, something we, we instinctively think. But in fact, women don't tend to have that um, tight chest. We have different sort of symptoms, and we tend to be dismissive of them. So if we have a slight feeling in the chest or shortness of breath or just a bit of fatigue, we, we, you know, we dismiss it. We don't have time for it, and so we move along. And we need to make sure that, in fact, we, we do take note because um, the health of our heart and our vascular system and um, our nutrition plays an extremely important part. Now, if we've been preparing ourselves through the life cycle, we will have taken things like omega-3 fatty acids, for example, and you'll see here that we're recommended to eat two portions a week. We don't tend to do that. And of course, even people who do choose to take fish are concerned about the contaminants, lead, mercury, and many, many others. And you'll see that their omega-3 fats actually lower the risk of fatal heart attacks. And unfortunately, it seems like if a woman has a heart attack, she doesn't seem to survive it as well as a man does. So omega-3 fatty acids seem to be extremely important. And I just put this slide up to show you that again, in near life, we've gone to the actual foods. We've made sure that we've got all the eight um, and, um, different fatty acids that are there. And we've made sure that the potency and the purity is there. And of course, as you know, we research everything. And just in terms of, of heart um, health, you'll see that we reduce those fats that contribute to heart disease by 17% in just eight weeks. So if we continue to use the, this product or fill that fish gap, be prepared right through our life cycle. We will actually keep those, those fats at bay and they won't be contributing to heart disease, which does tend to affect women more than we actually realize. And the reason why we have such quality is that we have a scientific advisory board who works behind the scenes tirelessly and you'll notice that all our products have this seal of excellence that actually verifies purity, potency, efficacy, and a real commitment to basing in nature and backing everything by science. So that in fact, you can be very healthy so that you give your family the best gift they can have. 
um, and hopefully you've done that in this Women's Month, and I hope that you've learned something from this tonight. Thank you. Wow, thank you, Liz, for that amazing webinar and for being with us tonight and adding so much value to our Neo Life community. Um, I mentioned at the beginning of the call, our mission is to end the trend of chronic disease. And we know that we cannot achieve this mission on our own. So at Neo Life, we are building a community of like-minded people who have made the decision to become intentional about living a healthy, active lifestyle. And so being, being a part of this community plugs you into resources and information, as Liz was talking about, that will, that will empower you with the knowledge and the tools to keep you healthy and active. We also have community challenges and fun events that will support you and give you the motivation not only to make a lifestyle change, but to maintain that lifestyle change. And our Near Life community also has the opportunity to purchase Near Life Nutrition at 20% discount. So to all of our guests on the call this evening, if you would like to get onto the Near Life Nutrition or if you have questions that you need answered or if you'd like to become a part of the Near Life community, please get in contact with the person who got you onto the call this evening. And I want to thank you all for your time and may the remainder of your Women's, uh, women's Month be spectacular for every one of you. God bless.